Whoa, hey guys, it's me, Tom, with SLR Tom. And today I want to talk to you about this amazing, or actually like, it's quite, I mean, quite good X6 router by Netgear. Um, so let's look at this thing here. Okay, I mean, as you see, this thing is of monstrous proportions. Um, the price dropped a little bit, so currently it's costing about $230. It was $300 or about $300 when it launched brand new, okay? So, um, have you ever asked yourself what it is, what the router is, and why you need one? So let me give you a brief overview of what these things actually are, and then we'll dive in and do a little bit of like a review about this thing here. So a good router can mean a world of a difference between getting a good signal or good Wi-Fi, as we're used to saying, you know, throughout your home or, you know, really crappy dropping out connections in a back room and a bedroom, you know. With some, you won't even reach, uh, you know, your outside walls at all. As soon as you step outside of home, the signal just drops completely. Um, so probably signal issues are probably the most common, but there are like many other aspects that would make a great internet router. Now let's start with the basics. What is this thing? What is a router? So uh, what we refer to typically, it's actually four devices in one. Uh, we just uh, refer to this thing as a router because all, it's all in one box. Um, so number one, first. It is a device in your home or business, obviously, that manages your internet traffic. It forwards packets between computer networks. Um, so, you know, it's the device that connects your internet modem, you know, and it manages your network. Um, so, so typically we call this entire thing the, the router. Um, so second, you know, this thing's also a network switch. Uh, typically, the standard home routers come with four ports, uh, standard wired ports. Um, now, all these four here, so you see more ports, but these four here, they're, uh, you know, super fast one gigabit ports, uh, which means they could transfer at about 120 megabits a second. So third, it has built-in wireless access points, these things here. You know, those are the antennas that give us that Wi-Fi signal we always talk about. Now, the signal quality can vary greatly between all devices. And some like this Netgear can, you know, can even have six or more antennas. There are some with eight. Um, so they all can have multiple radios also. Uh, that means that there's multiple um, radios that talk to each antenna. Um, you know, they, they can all work in unison. Think of it as a multi-lane highway for your Wi-Fi signal. You know, fourth, what's inside is, um, is a firewall. Uh, it's all built in and it can obviously vary greatly among different brands. Um, with this one here, I think actually firewall is, is, a, is more of a weak point compared to how great of a performance of the router this is. Um, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, this thing can do a lot. But at, uh, at this price point, I would expect a little bit better with the firewall. Um, you know, firewall rules or options would help, you know, set up things like content rating and filtering. So um, you don't allow your kids to watch, you know, for example, X-rated movies. It actually does that pretty well. But what it lacks is the scheduling aspect I like. It's more of a manual way of managing when kids have access, for example. Um, while what they have access to actually works well, but you have to manually turn it on or off. Um, so let's check this out. You know, the Netflix or YouTube connection issues or traffic congestions caused by your home router will be thing of the past with this router. Let's take a closer look. So what do you have here, you can actually turn off the LEDs on or off. You have four network points. This is your internet. Uh, the, this is where you connect your modem. This here you can actually expand uh, and connect like a USB hard drive or a printer. And we obviously have a power port. Um, you can see inside here there's a reset switch. So if you lose your password or whatnot, you can just reset it and it'll go back to factory defaults. 
Then we got a power switch, which is actually pretty neat. Looking over from the top, wow, this thing is just amazing. Let me look at it. You can actually somewhat position these antennas to find a better signal. Uh, typically the signal is best to your device if antennas are in, uh, perpendicular to your devices. So whatever devices you have, you want to have perpendicular to your antenna. Like the best signal goes this way. That's the strongest signal. Um, so this thing is actually a tri-band. So what does tri-band mean? Tri-band. Let's take a look here. I think it's on the other side. So tri-band means that it operates on all these frequencies at the same time, which is actually really nice because that makes it really a high performing router. Okay. So we have one operating at 450 megabits at 2.4 gigahertz, then 1300 megabits. So you have two actually at five gigahertz. So that's why this thing can offer a huge throughput. Um, this, and I, I think they actually have different models of this, uh, where some can actually go to 4,000 uh, megabits. This here is what, the 3200, I believe. Yeah, okay. So let's take a look. So simultaneous tri-bands, that means that they all talk at the same time. So if you have multiple devices, they can, you know, they can use different antennas or one device can use all three if you have a compatible receiver. Okay. I uh, have a dual core processor, quite a bit of memory, 500 megabytes of RAM, six, these are folks, these are high performance antennas. Uh, high power amplifiers. So really, I mean, when I put this thing in my house, the signal strength was amazing. I mean, just, you couldn't find a weak spot at your house. Even outside a house, it worked well. When I pulled in the car to the driveway, I already connected to Wi-Fi. So that's amazing. So move, MIMO, multiple in, multiple out, simultaneous streaming of data for multiple devices. Smart connect, um, same Wi-Fi name on the 2.4. So your device can basically choose between two, four and five gigahertz band. Link aggregation, you can actually connect these two gigabit ports on the back into one. So then you have like a two gigabit connection. I never actually did that. Um, ready share USB, so you can put it in a hard drive in the printer. We talked about that. Customer is URL for FTP server, VPN support. So you can actually VPN to your home network with this. I uh, have guest network access, so you just set up a separate guest network. Um, explicit beam forming. Okay, well, let's just look what they say on the box here. Okay, it's pretty cool. So one more look here from this side. So this is the 3000 model. I think they even have it up to 4000. Uh, what's inside? You got ethernet cables, quick start guide, power adapter, okay. Uh, actually weighs quite a bit. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. Um, now, this I think actually where the weak point is with this is there's Genie app, uh, personal dashboard to monitor control. And that's one thing I find that the Asus routers might do it a bit better. Uh, but if you want like a really high performing router, you can't go wrong with this. It is incredibly easy to set up. Simply plug it into the wall and plug in a power thing. So make sure it's on or off. And then we plug in the internet. Okay, plug that in. Yeah. Might, you might want to open up all these antennas. So you might want to open up all these antennas to set it up. Turn it on. All right, and we got connections here, and it tells you what plugged in or not. Okay. All right, so we got all the connections up. So you can see Wi-Fi shows you the nice status and everything. It's internet or whatnot. Okay. That looks pretty good. 
and focus. There we go. All right, so as you can see, the thing is up. All right. It just took a while for it to resolve, that's all. Okay, so we're all up, everything should be good. Let me show you the Genie app. Okay, so we're, remote, uh, so we're locally connected to the router right now. As you can see, it's in the background. And uh, we can manage all these settings here on it. You can also set up a remote access where you can log in outside of your home network. Okay, uh, so over here you can see that you have Wi-Fi settings. Uh, you can set up a guest Wi-Fi. You can turn it on or off. Uh, you can check your network map. That just lists you all the devices connected. I uh, just have nothing. I, you know, at home typically I have like ten or so devices. Um, then you have parental controls. So you have parental controls, you can enable that or turn that off. Um, and it works with the open DNS account, um, which you need to set up an account there. You set up different filtering levels, uh, and that's all pretty cool. What it's missing though is the, um, see when you go to advanced, it actually goes, opens up that uh, open DNS. So somehow Netgear has a partnership with open DNS or they own it, I don't know. And then we have, you know, we can set up some traffic meters. We'll tell you, you know, who downloads what and how much traffic they use. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, my media, oh, we don't have anything here. That would be once you connect the router, uh, the hard drive to it. Ready share, turbo transfer, QR scanner, what the heck? All right, well, if we can scan a device here to connect. Ready, sure, that's the USB thing. Okay, and then Wi-Fi analytics, remote access, that's for VPN, we can reboot the router or register a product. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, tells you the exact model here. Um, you know, the, the one thing, like I mentioned before, is just that I wish that content filtering or blocking had a scheduling aspect, all right? Uh, but you can actually, when you click on the, the network map, you can choose to select which devices get internet on and off uh, manually. So if you wanna, if you're calling your kids for dinner, they're not coming, then you just basically, you know, disable their internet access. On it. And right now it's loading. I don't know why it's loading. So here we go. Okay. And then it can tell you the IP address, your speed, and all that kind of stuff. All right, well, that's it. Um, it's actually a pretty decent router. Um, it's just, you know, if you're having a, like I said, this has my recommendation, unless you want to schedule um, internet access for your kids, where you automatically turn it on or off. Then I would recommend an Asus router instead. All right, well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. Please rate, subscribe, and share. Ciao.